So Martin Luther King Day came and went, and Canada just had to get involved. The liberals want to be part of every struggle, and I don't know why they get away with this, but for some reason, MLK, slavery, and the dark past that America has is part of a spoiled rich kid's Montreal experience. So the Zoolander prime minister, women elected him, they got him, the dumbest prime minister ever, and his annoying wife is now getting involved in MLK. She had a song for her daughter called Smile Back at Me, and that seems to fit the black struggle perfectly. Let's roll it, shall we? Some people die. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Angels can fly. Yeah, yeah. And some people fight. Look how white that audience is. Without knowing why. Oh, sing it, Some sister. Preach it. Live without seeing the light. Oh, my God. Look at them. What do you think, brothers and sisters? There's some African back there. He's never even heard of Martin Luther King. Look at the picture behind her. <laughs> Who's this lady? Good will prevail. Uh -huh. The love that I feel when you smile back at me, when you smile back at me. Oh, is she Earth a kid? In the cone of your eye. Oh, it's a new song Either now. we will say goodbye, but nothing will take away what's between you and me. Oh my God, is that guy asleep or blind? When, when you, you smile, smile back, back at me. When you smile, when you smile, when you smile. Beautiful. I love you. I love my you too. Child. I love you, my child. Ooh. Check this out. Was she Eva Perone? Is this Evita? Don't cry for me, Argentina. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Thank you, Rogers TV. Wow, what a mess. And I, I love this because it's such a perfect example of how politics is fashion now. MLK is hot. The black struggle's hot. Canada wants to be a part of it. And she gets out there like with a standing ovation. MLK is my thing too. You don't know any... Canada doesn't know anything about slavery. It's the least racist place on earth. Them complaining about MLK is like when illegal aliens come here and complain about racism. No, 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 no. You can't show up at the 11th hour and steal someone else's past, okay? This isn't you. In fact, in, in the old days, when Miles Davis and Sammy Davis Jr., they'd go up to Montreal to play jazz shows, and they couldn't believe it. They were like, I'm white here. Everyone is cool here. This is... Black doesn't exist in Canada. So no, you can't sing the blues as a white woman you're lying and this is you see this with everything with liberal politics like rape they go i hate rape okay gotcha it sounds I, I i hate it too by the way and they go they go hey I, I was doing some research on that rape thing you hate i noticed in prison there's even more people raped than more men than women in fact and they go oh no i don't like that kind of rape Oh, uh, okay. Well, I, I found some uh, Middle Eastern cultures. You know, in Pakistan, it's uh, it, they didn't want to outlaw pedophilia because they were worried it would be seen as anti-Islamic. That's uh, how's that for rape? I mean, there's there's your rape culture right there. No, no, I don't like that one. That's not the fashionable kind of rape I have, ladies. Politics is not fashion, okay? It's not in Us Weekly. Just because MLK Day is happening south of the border, you can't co-opt that and sing about it. And by the way, when you say, smile back at me, my little pet, you wrote a song about your little tiny baby and how cute it is. To say that about blacks is downright insulting. God, you, you're not even good at this co-opting other people's culture. At least get it right. Uh-huh, and don't sing. Terrible blue songs written for babies about black people on MLK Day.